right? There are uh, these structures. You have seen the uh, uh, most, a couple of uh, cases that you know you launch the malware, they disappear, right? So, so and sometimes malware just actually delete itself and then rename it, uh, re rename it to a more legitimate locate, uh, legitimate looking uh, applications. The reason is. One of uh, one of one of the first reason is you know it can maybe you know erase a trace. If, let's say there's one machine is compromised and some forensic mm -hmm. people come in. However, if we delete itself or you know we rename it uh, the malware itself, then you know it may not be able to find it where it is coming from, right? It may not be able to whether it comes from the email, right? If it you want the email attachment, it should be in the somewhere in the inbox, right? But if we delete itself, then maybe not not there, right? At the certain directory, right? So, uh, so malware often it uh, destroys itself or you rena rename it into more legitimate looking uh, application, right? And one of the example uh, we have is Darkshare and Hydrex. So let's take a look at. And how about this one? For this lab, we learn a lot of tools, right? We uh, learn how to use the uh, Process monitor, right? And what else? What else do we learn? We learn how to use the red chart and then monitor whether or not there are some on a file system changes, right? So you can use one of these tools and try to answer the uh, questions here from one to three, right? Now it's uh, slightly more challenging. This lab. So very first step will be start the uh, victim VM from the clean state and you can try to find it from the uh, trauma or web shot. How about this? You I mean for me, using the web shot, the more web shot with the web shot, you will see the result immediately because the file you will see as a you know the malware be listed as a deleted file, right? But how about using the uh, prompt one? They use it much more detail, okay, right? So they who deleted even those information. So rank is okay. If it's easy, monitor is more challenging. Now I am starting the uh, victim VM from the uh, clean snapshot. And uh, we will use the uh, prop mark. Okay. We use a uh, process monitor. And from here, from uh, malware class and sample. We will uh, run dark shell first. And I'm going to launch this uh, dark shell. Right? Probably it has enough to run. I'll just let it run a little bit. Once you have enough, uh, uh, you have the uh, malware run enough time, you can just uh, stop monitoring it. Or so you're gonna keep, you know, grab all the events. There are only just too much of information. So I just press file and deselect the capture event from file. I just deselect the capture event. So now, let's very first cut. I will do is. I will actually filter on the malware. However, later on, I may need to uh, remove the filter. But for now, I will uh, limit the uh, events only to the uh, malware. So you see, 
and OK. Right? And since only because we are focusing on the uh, file deletion, the deleting file itself, so I will limit the event to a file system only here. Once I deselected this menu here, I deselected uh, registry activity, network activity, and the process activity, thread activity. Then I, I, now I am looking at only the uh, file related uh, events. Right here. I have a question. Yes. No, I'm sorry. Just right. What process did you select? You did process name and what was the operation? Right. So, right. You, I, you was, I just selected uh, process name yes. and malware. Yeah, that year. Okay. okay. Right. And I am particularly looking for delete file, right? Because uh, the malware, when you actually see here, dark shell directory, the malware is gone, right? Somebody removed it. So let's look at the events here. So I just filter out with the process name to the malware. And I just selected the registry, network, and process uh, activity here. So I'm only looking at the file system events. When I scroll it down, let's see if I see any delete operation. Let's filter because I'm doing it on Twitter. Let's filter it from operation. So in order to delete one of, one of the uh, options, operation we're doing is set position information file. Set this position uh, information file. I will just uh, filter out even more. There we go. Now I'm seeing it from here. However, I don't see the information it is deleting itself, malware.exe, right? So it means it may launch some other process in order to delete the malware.exe, right? So this is the important part. You know, when you set a filter, you gotta make sure you are, you are not missing other events. So how about this? Since uh, this malware.exe didn't delete itself, I will remove this operation for now here. Oh uh, no, wait a minute. Uh, hold on a second, I'll take it back a little bit. I'll just put it here and then I will check what kind of process has been created in malware. Right? So for here, I will click filter and I will remove this operation first. So I will leave process name as it is for now. Right? So press OK. Now I want to see process activity. Right? And then I'll just, because I'm now I am, I just uh, checked that in the malware that you see didn't delete itself file. So now since I look at the file system, now I'm going to look at only process events here. Right? Whether or not it launched new process. Right? So when I just look at here, let's see, I see process start, uh, thread, and load image, but I see now process create. I just filtered with the process name malware and I am looking at only the process activity here. Right? And it is actually starting this is the reg edit and it started the command.exe. We use the command.exe in order to just launch a Calculator before, right? In the command line. So this maybe must be something like that. And I double click the process create line. And guess what? Now you can see here directly. It has. Yeah, let me see. Can I make it bigger? There we go. All right? I will not go on this screen. Let's make the window as big as I can so it maximizes. Here, do you see this command line? When we start a 
government line, it is actually delete means deleting the malware that you have to file. Right? Do you see the same? You can see the old same, maybe, or you can try to filter out the event. Right? All right, any question about uh, dark shell uh, sample? Right? It's clear, right? All right, I will uh, close the victim VM and revert to the clean snapshot. Right. So the the question from here, number one, how did malware, uh, dark chain malware, delete itself? So basically, it create at least comment in a, another process to delete itself, right? Now let's go back to uh, virtual box manager and let's start the victim VM from the clean snapshot. How about this time? I'll start the top one again. Right. Let it run here and start malware class in samples. And this time, we are hydrant and run. And I will have it running for a while. Was enough time to wait, maybe, right? Usually, I uh, will uh, use the sandbox, but I can talk about the full time or the set for the one minute to let it run and to observe the old uh, artifact. So, anyway, so it was uh, enough time, so let's uh, start capturing the events. I'll do the same thing again here. Since I just started malware, so malware, the process name was malware.exe. I right, save. And I will eliminate the events because we are looking at only the file deletion of uh, action here. So let's go. There, delete. I don't need again. So, how about I'll do the same thing. Since I'll skip the uh, set the uh, information file here, but I will see if we created any process. By uh, deselecting this other event, I'll just en enable the process activity here only. And now I see only the uh, one process create. Right? Is it deleting the file? I don't know, right? We don't know, right? So we need to see what is this actually batch file does, right? So from here, let's see. We just see. Uh, we look. Uh, so okay, some batch file is uh, ran. So that means this batch file in itself is see in the command line. Maybe you know create more processes, right? So command line is a child process of the malware that you see, right? So then let's look at what this command you know command like cmd.exe process uh, has done basically, right? So let's Check this you know, child process uh, PID is 908. You see that 908, right? Because it does you know, show once we make a new uh, process, there is a PID, right? So I'll just have 908, close it, and 
this filter again. And for the second from here, I'll remove this one. The malware, I just already saw, okay, malware.exe created a process with a 901. So I will remove this one. And now I will set as a PID. And when you drop, there's a 908. Right? PID to 908 and add. And check. Let's see what it's doing basically. Right? Here. So it's process. And it is not actually creating, creating a new process. So let's go back to the files uh, events. File system events. So I click the file system events here again. Right? And let's see if you see any uh, deleting file activity here. You see, this is the reading here. You see this one? Oh, you have some delete operation. Right? It deleted something, but uh, do I, can I see the very detail here? Not quite. Right? Is it? So it is actually deleting, you know what? No, actually it's deleting the DFS uh, batch file itself as well, right? How about this way more even? So we are interested in then operation. Set this position information file at run and OK. Now do you see that? Now we know who deleted who deleted the uh, malware.exe file. So it was the uh, command line uh, process, cmd.exe, so it was using the batch file, what to delete, right? Here, when you see here, so that uh, command line.exe, it actually deleted by the video here, detail, delete. And, and delete this malware.exe file, right? So again, you guys are using this approach model that you can just you know filter out and then look at you know from for you see one event and then from that event you know then derive what you know next filter can be basically, all right? So this is basically you can use you know in this uh, the hardware or actually there is another tool we're going to use there is a capture bag. That there is a uh, tool, it will actually save or delete the file, delete the file. So, and so by just using that uh, tool, you can actually see what this DFS that batch, you know, batch, batch file it looks like, All right? All right. Any question about this uh, lab? Oh, this way. I think help always here. Yeah. Help here. Uh, maybe the classes there is. You should have. Uh, I oh, I usually just Google it. Either help or the Google. And this is information file. Yeah, I usually Google the base for this. Okay, what is this? What is this? There's uh, some random pe uh, people in the internet, they usually, I know, many times they are right. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. I was hoping more that has better. Yeah, my answer is yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know the, uh, if there is a official documentation, but either you can look around here or what is just Googling it. Yeah, kind of lame answer. Yes, I agree. I agree. And not only that, actually, the one of the 
no, it's the it is okay. Why the reason being that they want I can answer the question is because uh, the event name operation name is related to the API name, right? Because it is basically calling the I know uh, API name that is closed in the set this position information by doing calling that one you can delete the file basically. That's why it has very you no know, name is look not you know is not uh, straightforward, right? So another example is a create file. There's a the function API called create file. The, it is not actually created in the file. Create file the API, they need to be called even in order to open the file okay. using the existing file. So right. And I will uh you know actually this let me Google it right now. So there should be a set of this position. Extension file, maybe. Right. Okay, for the particular case was uh, some related to the structure. Yeah. Maybe this was, oh, this one maybe uh, directly related to one should be deleted. Yeah, rather than guessing, just this is all in information that I can get. So I think Googling, Googling is the best. All right. So let's move on. So next lab is we will use the capture bed. This is a tool. Uh, so capture bed. How about first? First of all, let's delete. Uh, let's close the victim VM. 